very likely going to prison for a while. What are some tips for a first timer from those who have done time before? Check out after prison show on YouTube. He talks about his first time, what to look out for, how to act, etc. He's got a ton of content and is pretty funny while being pretty informative. He did something like 7 years for drugs in VAP. Do not give your shit away. Don't give anyone anything out of fear or in hopes of befriending somebody. Inmates see this as weakness and will milk you dry. Standing your ground early and showing that you're willing to protect what is yours will actually lay the groundwork for their respect. Long after you have established friendships in there it is okay to be a friend and offer your honey bun to an inmate. Just for shits and giggles. Show no emotion. Even when people scream in your face, stonna face it. You're going to see some shit. Do not react. Ever see Avatar, The Last Airbender? There's an episode with a spurt who steals your face if you show emotion. Act like that. The guards cannot and will not protect you, so don't rely on that. Speakily of you snitch. They really can't help you then. Mind your business. Many inmates have a schedule they stick to and get annoyed if you make them break from it. Learn to fight if you don't already and remember, there is no such thing as fighting dirty when it comes down to it. Above all, remember all prisons are different culture wise so advice you get here may not apply where you're going. I'll leave you with some quotes that I'll share the same theme. Plans are useless, but planning is indispensable. No plan survives first contact with the enemy. Everybody has a plan, until they get punched in the face. Never been to jail, but had a friend that taught there. If you don't have your high school diploma, take the JED classes. If any kind of college CR. My little brother is currently in St. Quentin, and he always says to just mind your own business and don't give anyone a reason to have an issue with you. Focus on yourself, read and work out, but also be ready to defend yourself. He was a MMA fighter before he got locked up and has has so far only been in 2 or 3 fights and won most of them. He says it's less about if you win or lose and more about you having to show that you will fight back and you're not worth it. Nowadays he just does his own thing, keeps to himself and reads alert. Don't gamble, don't snitch, or mess with prison queens in any way. Eat fast, shower quick, read and work out. Don't have long conversations with correctional officers don't want inmates to think you're snitching. Try to stay away from the phone. Most problems happen over who's next for the phone. Mind your business and be weary of generosity. Most inmates size people up people to see what they can get from you. Also, you have an opportunity to use your time for tremendous self-improvement. Take all the programs they offer and really try to work them. I did 12 years 8 months out of a 20 year sentence. Read around 700 books and earned a bay in economics. You got this. Good luck. Although I never went to prison, my partner was a student teacher there. I can say that getting involved in dog training, if the prison offers it can benefit you. They specialize in training service dogs. If you didn't get your jet, then take the classes, because it will lower your jail time. I can't believe no one has brought up the courtesy flush. Once you're done pooping, and before you start wiping, flush that turd down. No one on your range is going to appreciate smelling your shit and they won't be shy about communicating how they feel about it. When you are asked what you're in for, immediately say drugs. Don't hesitate. Don't give anyone a chance to say you didn't fuck a kid, did you? Because then you're there for fucking a kid. And that is dangerous. No one gives a shit about drugs. Also, don't tell anyone when you are short on time. Assholes love to beat your ass in the last few days you are there. Never been to prison myself, but having spoken with many people who have been, the two main pieces of information that are consistently shared to me are this. One. Don't be confrontational, but also don't take shit from anyone. The last thing you want to do is let people know you're weak. They will take advantage of that. 2. Try to make as many friends as possible. The more friends you will have, the better time overall you have. People are less likely to start shit with you if you're well liked amongst the other inmates. Plus, if something does go down, you know people will have your back. I once told a friend who was going away for 5 years that time passes by faster than you expect. I was in the army for 4. 
5 years so that's where I was coming from. When he got out, he said it was the best advice he received. I think he did some sort of life plan or something. While he was in cause he is doing pretty well now. What's your crime, if you can share? Also, do not run your mouth walking into housing units. You don't have to act like a scared chihuahua, but also don't front, like you're the cock of the walk. Everyone sees that from a mile away. Don't suck up to the officers. We don't like it, and the other inmates seeing it will never respect you. Be polite to the officers as a standard. Even if one is a dick to you, others won't be. If an inmate asks me nicely, and I know he has a habit of being polite, I'll hook him up with what he needs. If it's not a violation of my policy, read. Pass the time one page at a time. Do your time, and don't get caught up in the politics. If you're white, the Aryan slash whatever white power group is gonna try to get you to do shit for them. Same if you're black, the crypt slash blood slash whatever are gonna try to rope you in. Hispanic, Sereno, and so on. You get caught with a cell phone you're holding for them, or some dope, and now you've got an extra year or two. Be patient when you think you're gonna lose it. So many guys are doing extra time for a momentary lapse of judgment, when their temper got the better of them. Your ego only matters, in that you don't want to be somebody's bitch. Other than that, let shit go. Expect the guards to be indifferent and some to be assholes. Source, an officer who doesn't ever want to be an asshole. Get to know a person. Do not divulge much personal information. Rip the return address off of your envelopes. Cover the numbers with one hand, when you make a phone call. Do not get in the way of the C. O. S. Do not make them actually work, and do their job because of you. Huge target in your back. Do your best to stay positive. Use it as a time to grow. 15 years veteran cop here. I've talked to Perilies about this many times out of curiosity. One main theme I hear is respect. Don't go out with a chip on your shoulder, but also don't get walked on. Show respect but don't be a pushover. Things like buying people things from commissary to appease them is bad. It will only make you seem weak. Try to get in with the others. The guys who keep to themselves and are not involved in race and gang bullshit. It's ridiculous that American prisons are basically super criminal training grounds. Don't get in that loser lifestyle. Our old neighbor spent 10 years in prison. He told my father the only hard part was to stay mentally stable and let people know you are no joke. I honestly know nothing other than that, but I do wish you the best of luck. Time will move fast, and from your expectations your sentence wouldn't be that bad. You still have your life in front of you, and please take the prison as an opportunity to stay sober, even after you've left it. Never been arrested but some of my close friends have done significant time. Things greatly vary from institution to institution. I don't know how things work in your state, but here everyone goes to the gateway prisons until they get assigned to one. I forgot at which point, but you do get some choice as to where you go. So I do recommend, do some research on prisons in your state, which ones you definitely want to avoid, and which ones are more chill. abso fucking avoid gambling, or even playing games, where anyone can accuse you of cheating, even without bits. Most fight stories that I heard involved a game of spades and a fuckton of blood. Obviously learning how to protect yourself is great. But, don't go trying to bash a dude's skull and just cause he says something. Tell him to fuck off, dish shit out right back. I would imagine that most of it will be just testing to see if you're a pushover. Always be ready to fight though. If hands go up, or they get really aggressive or someone actually touches you slash pushes you. Don't try to reason slash it. Doing a week in the hole is better than getting constantly harassed. You don't have to be the biggest badass motherfucker around. You simply have to show that you are not a bitch, will not take shit from anyone, and will stand your ground. When people look for targets slash victims, they look for people who won't rip their nuts off or break their jaw. For sure the best thing is to play it 50 over 50 where you're nice and respectful, but not too much as you'll show weaknesses that people will take advantage of. All you and everyone else there have is time, and all that time gives people the skill to read people well. Being too nice can get you screwed, or in debt to people you don't wanna owe anything to, yet being disrespectful or arrogant can get you sat on your ass real quick. Try to get yourself into a routine, which will make life go easier and quicker for yourself. 
Keep your mental spirits up, keep goals in mind at all times, and don't pay attention to the time of day or how fast slash slow time goes until you're comfortable in there. Try to get into any programs or work things to make your time go by quickly as well as being able to meet people who are solely there to do their time and show respect, therefore not causing refraff that gets you hemmed up or linked into wrong crowds. Don't back down to anyone who challenges you. The biggest thing in there is earning respect and most times you'll have to swing hands to show others you are to be respected. Other than that, I advise you read everyone's comments and watch things that are real life, not TV shows and movies. Although you can learn things about human slash inmates from those, i.e. mannerisms and things to do not to do. But talking to people with knowledge about the situations are ideal. Best of luck man. Never been in prison, but reading through these comments tell me one thing, there is hope that you will get through this and come out the other side with enough wherewithal, empathy, and kindness to be able to advise others on how to cope. I wish you all the best and hope you can use the time as proof you are more resilient than most of us could ever imagine. May this be the pivotal moment in your life where things change trajectory my friend. If you prefer books, you might try to get your hands on a copy of You Are Going to Prison. It's about $30 on Amazon, but your library might have a copy. It was written in 1994, but has lots of decent first-hand advice. It might also be worth your time to find an older inmate who is off by himself, go up to him, and respectfully ask him a few questions about what the place is like, who to avoid, how to stay out of trouble, maybe offer him something for his time, whatever the local currency is, sigs if they are allowed, a candy bar if not. Remember each prison is different. Federal prison is usually a bit better than state. You will likely be placed with other people your age and with similar offenses. I had a friend who shot and killed his wife in a drunken rage about 45 years ago. He was released to a work farm which he said was much better than being inside. He said that most of the guys on the farm who had been there for a while and got on well were violent offenders like him. He said that the people who did the worst were young men who were in for burglary, theft and drugs because they felt like they had something to prove or would steal from others and were basically still criminals who just happened to be locked up. The ones who were locked up for violence were usually a bit older and had committed a crime due to an unusual circumstance and did not have a criminal mentality. Oh yeah, I forgot. Don't snitch if your safety isn't in danger. If you can fight, even better. I don't care if you see someone get murdered. You keep your mouth shut. You don't want a snitch jacket. If you don't know how to fight you will learn once you're labeled. Everyone in every joint has a few ride or die brothers on their team. If they check out and are solid. If you snitch, put your head on a swivel and tape magazines around your stomach. Good luck man. It sucks being in the joint. I earned my stripes. I've given them back long ago. Don't be that guy who snitches. Get your stripes by being real. Real recognize is real. Be cool. Work out a lot. If you get strong and don't act like a dickhead, but definitely defend yourself. If you have to, people won't mess with you. Also, don't give away your stuff and take your time making friends. In my opinion it's not wise being a social butterfly there, at least not at first. Also, since you might have a lot of free time, I suggest reading a lot. It's a great way to keep your mind balanced, and since you have the time might as well expand your brain. Also, bad stuff might happen on the outside. But don't lose your cool inside, because you don't want to spend any more time in there than you have to. Some things matter here. Prison or jail? Length of time? Seriousness of offense? Was violence involved? Are you affiliated with a gang? State you are being incarcerated in? Going to prison for a felony in Nick is way different than going to jail for a misdemeanor in Vermont. Don't let anyone punk you especially on your first day. Basically if someone comes up and starts disrespecting you, you have the choice to defend your shit or let them take it. Just know that, if you let them take it, they'll come back every day and find something else they want from you. Inmates see and hear literally everything so, if someone kicks the shit out of you, or if you see something fucked up just let it go, inmates don't like snitches. My buddy is in right now, too. Five years, halfway done, and I'm managing his affairs. 
he got really depressed before he went in and we couldn't get stuff done properly. Now the depression is lifted, we are in problem solving mode and finding documents or fixing things can be hard. Get a really trusted person to handle your affairs. Someone who is good with money, regularly puts your money on your books, knows basic taxes, stays organized, monitor against credit theft, higher rates of credit theft amongst incarcerated folks, and I found this out personally, and makes good choices. Be open and honest when planning in advance, and leave no stone unturned. Make sure that this person has visiting, email, mail, and phone call privileges. Good luck.